Hi everyone, this is Shmar Haddad here. In uh, this uh, new video, I'm going to do a uh, lab to show you how you can configure the OHPF virtual link on Aruba routers. So what is the virtual link on OHPF? We know from uh, the uh, um, theory of OHPF that all areas that are being created on a network should connect to the backbone area, which is area zero. So in our case, this is the backbone area, area zero, where it has only the uh, part of router one, which is the loopback interface. So this is the network which is connected to it. Now we do have here router one on, and router two connected to each other and they are on area one and on the, the interfaces shown here and then router two and router three they are on area two. So that means that router three is completely in the area two. So you can see that area two and area zero, they do not have any connection to each other. So again, we said by theory or SPF, all areas should touch somehow the area zero, but area two is not at all uh, reaching to area zero. That means the uh, uh, router three over here will not see at all the um, networks which are on area zero. Also, if we have some routers on area zero, for example, they don't see any network which are on area two. So we have such a case sometimes that happens that uh, we have uh, like uh, two areas uh, uh, that are not connected to each other. So say area two and area zero, they are not connecting to, connecting to each other and there is an area in between. So, uh, and there is no possibility to have any physical connection between area two and area zero. But we have area one. So what we can do, we can do what we call it the virtual link. So virtual link is nothing more than you make a virtual or like some type of tunnel between those two routers which are on area one. You say that this area one is going to be a transit area, meaning like router two over here and router three will see like they are directly connected to area zero. So that's the, like a type of tunnel. So this area one becomes like a transit area. So to allow the routing for area two to uh, reach to area zero and vice versa from area zero to reach to area two. So this is the idea of the virtual link. So what we are going to do in this lab, I'm going to make uh, the configuration. Actually, the IP addresses are already set. I have already done that to win time. I'm going to make uh, the OHPF as it is like here. So we put loopback interface on area zero of router one and then router one, this interface on area one. Area The, the router two, we put it this interface area one, this interface area two, and router three, we put it completely on area two. And then I'm going to check the routing table for area for the uh, router three, if we can see 1.1.1.1. And we will see, you will not be able to see it. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the virtual link, as I said, and this is gonna be between router one and router two on area one. So area one is gonna be the transit area. And then directly we will see later that router three will see this uh, network, which is 1.1.1.0 from the area zero. So this is what we're going to do in this lab. Let's start directly configuring the OSPF. So I will go to the router one. All right, let's uh, scroll up. And then from here, let's start uh, making the OSPF. So on router one, I have to make the uh, router OSPF one. I have to create uh, on uh, router one, we have area zero and we have area one. And you can see on the picture, you can see that, uh, that uh, the loopback interface is on area zero and uh, the interface 1.1.1.1 is on area one. And let's put also the router ID. It's uh, handy to just uh, make a router ID. Now we have to go to the interface of uh, a loopback interface zero. And then I have to say IP OSPF one area zero. So this is on area zero. Then I will go to the interface, interface one slash one slash one. And then I will put it inside IP or SPF one area one. So this is done on router one, the configuration. We go to router two and also on router two, I have to do the same. So I have to go to configure terminal router or SPF one. And then I have to say the router ID is going to be two the two the two the two. And then I have to say I have here area one and I have area two. Now I go to the interfaces. So then I'll have to go to the interface one slash one slash one and I'll put it inside the OSPF one area one. 
then I will go to the interface one slash one slash two, and this is gonna be on area two. Area two. Okay, very good. So now that means if I do now show IP OSPF neighbors, now I will see that it has formed a neighbor with router one. Now I'll go to router three and over here I have to go to the again uh, router OSPF1 router ID 3.3.3.3 and now we have over here only area 2. Now I will go inside the interface uh, 1 slash 1 slash 2 and then I'm going to put it inside area 2 and also I have created a loopback interface so let's make it also the loopback interface as well interface loopback 0 I'm not sure if I do have the interface so do show uh, interface brief yes I do have the uh, interface so interface loopback 0 and then I'll have to go to IP and then uh, OSPF 1 area 2. So now if I do say here show uh, IP OSPF neighbors. Okay, so it has formed neighbor with router 2. Now, if we look to the routing table, show IP route, you can see that uh, the router 3 does not know about the 1.1.1.1 uh, uh, .1 which is uh, on the area 0 so if you look back to the picture so it doesn't know about this look back all right so what we need now to do we have to create the virtual link so again where the virtual link should be created it should be created between router 1 and router 2 because this is going to be the transit area the area 1 so i'm going to work on router 1 and i'm going to work on router 2 but before we do that if we go to router 1 let's go to router 1 and we can see also over here if I say show IP route we can see it doesn't know anything about the one uh, the 3.3.3.3 uh, uh, network at 192.23.0 network so now the virtual link again it has to happen between router 1 and router 2 so which interface is going to be the virtual link the interface is going to be the uh, uh, one connected between the two routers, which is 1 slash 1 slash 1 slash 2. Now, how to do that? We have to go again to the router one first, and we say IP OSPF 1. And now, actually, we should, we should say router OSPF 1. And now we have to say area 1. Then if we make question mark, you have this one, the virtual link. Virtual link. So who is the virtual link? So put the router ID. That means the router ID of router 2. And we said the router ID for router 2 is 2.2.2.2. So we have to make it like this. So we go here and we say 2.2.2.2. And that's it. So this is from one side, it's done. Of course, inside the virtual link, if you want to do some more configuration like authentication, changing the hello interval, whatever you want to do there, you can do. But I'm going to leave everything as it is by default. So now if I say here, show um, IP or SPF virtual links, so uh, you can see that uh, this is already configured. And here you can see the timer, the hello, the that, the uh, the retransmit and the authentication so that's something if you uh, want to change that you can but you have to change the same as you do on this router you have to do on this second router which is router 2 now we go to router 2 and now i'll go to the configure terminal and from here i have to go to router or spf 1 and then area 1 again and uh, from here we have to say virtual link which is 1.1.1.1. That's the router one. And then enter. So now in a moment, we should see that the virtual link will form up. And uh, those uh, uh, router uh, three and the uh, router one will see the uh, routes of each other. 
but let's first check show IP or SPF virtual link. So we have to uh, let's uh, maybe let's uh, have a look on the route the routing table. So on router one, I will go to show IP route. Here we go. You see, he has seen now already 3.3.3 and he has seen the network 23.0. Excellent. So this is uh, working perfectly, the virtual link. And if we try to reach to 3.3.3.3, you can see it's able to reach it. What about router 3? Show IP route. You can see he wasn't able to see 1.1.1. Now he can see it. Look. He can see 1.1.1 and he can also see 192.8.12.0. Very good. So now if I try to ping 1.1.1.1 uh, and here we go. He's able to ping it. Now if you want to uh, make it more precise, we say that the source has to come from 3.3.3.3. So I'm doing the ping from 3.3.3.3 to 1.1.1.1 and it is working. So that is all what I wanted to show you in uh, this uh, lab. It's about the virtual links, how you can use virtual links on uh, OSPF on Aruba routers. So if you like uh, my way of teaching, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and put like on this video and share it for other people to know about my work. Thank you very much and have a nice day.